Hello everyone, this is Fahim and today's video is going to be a bit of interesting because in today's video I am going to show you how we can work with Kaggle and Google Collaboratory. So basically I will show you how you can download Kaggle dataset directly to Google Collaboratory from Kaggle. Now you know that Kaggle is a renowned data science based competition platform and a community of data scientists and machine learning engineers and this platform actually contains a lot of data sets and notebooks that we use frequently to learn to practice uh, we can also take part in competitions regarding machine learning and data science all right but sometimes we feel comfortable using google collaboratory but the problem we face is that we have to download the data sets manually most of the time so it might be the case that let's say you have a very good data set in Kaggle and you basically want to work with that specific data set in Google column. So what you normally do? You normally, let me show you what we normally do. We simply find the data set, let's say this data set and we normally download the data set manually and we upload this data set in the Google collaboratory notebooks temporary location or we simply upload this to that Google Drive and we connect that specific directory from that notebook file but this might be troublesome for some data sets let's say you want to work with a data set that is larger than 30 gigabyte larger than 50 gigabyte or almost 100 gigabyte so in that case it might be very much troublesome to download the entire data set process them upload them and work on them later in the google column right so we can simplify this entire process by using kaggle's token api all right and in that case we can simply access any data set from kaggle directly to google column and all of the downloading process would happen in the google's cloud machine that machine is very much powerful the internet speed of that machine is very much powerful so the download speed would appear as the exact download speed as that remains in the google cloud platform it doesn't matter whether you have a very good uh, download speed or not if you can simply access kaggle or google collabs notebook you can download anything at very great speed just within your google collabs notebook so how great is that right so without any further ado let me show you how we can do that here and before proceeding further let me also remind you that i have also written a complete step-by-step -step guideline as an article and that article might get published on free code camp if that happens then i would make sure to add the link of that specific article in this video's description box so you can simply check that article you can get all of the written instruction with comments there and you can follow those from that article as well but for this time i'm simply focusing on the video all right so let's see how we can do that first of all you need to make sure that you have an account on Kaggle and you also have an account in Google. Now, Kaggle account is a completely free account. If you don't have any account on Kaggle, make sure that you are creating a new account, Kaggle, if you don't have any existing account already. All right. The process is very simple. I know that you can do that. And also make sure that you have an account on Google as well. That is also free and you can do that. I trust in you. All right. So let's say, you have created your account or if you have an existing account you have logged into your kaggle account so this would seem like this all right and from here we need to generate our kaggle api token so for that reason we need to go to these settings simply click on your profile icon and go to settings here you see this api segment now you have to keep in mind that you can't use multiple api tokens of kaggle simultaneously that means kaggle doesn't allow uses of multiple tokens you can generate only one active token and you can use that specific one active token for any kind of thing that you might need later all right so you can simply create a new token but you uh, but if you have already created token earlier you can simply use that specific token but if you want to create a new token you have to click on 
expire token and after that it will delete all the previous tokens so that you can create a new token why is that because you can't use multiple tokens in kaggle right all right so i can simply click create new token and you see that it has uh, provided me with a kaggle.json file let me show you how it actually works so this is how it looks i know that you might say hey fahim are you crazy why the hell you have showed us the entire token don't worry after recording this video before publishing it i would make sure to revoke my this token so that even if anyone gets hand of it they can't access my account at all all right so the token is like this it has username and it has key make sure not to edit any single thing from here all right now simply open your google account from where you want to access notebook and download data sets and so on and go to the google drive of that account all right so let's say this is the account this is my educational account from my university but don't worry the same process is applicable for any kind of google account all right so you can simply drop your json file directly here but i don't recommend that i recommend you to create a new folder and you can give it a suitable name let's say for this i can give it a name like kaggle underscore api and i can simply upload my api that has been generated right now here so you see that i am uploading the api key so here is the kaggle.json that's it now i can simply create any folder and open a google column notebook and i can also uh, open google column notebook right here so let's say for the simplicity i can simply uh, create right here but if you want you can create separate folders for handling separate notebooks it's your wish it doesn't matter actually all right so let me open google collaboratory all right but if for some reason google collaboratory doesn't work uh, doesn't appear here or here in your case what you can do oops it collapsed let me simply reload it all right so what i was telling earlier let's say whenever you right click here in the more section you should get google collaboratory or if you click here in new and more you should have google collaboratory right here but let's say for some reason google collaboratory is not appearing in your account then you can simply add the application to your account let me show you how you can do that i don't know if it's wrong here but uh, the tab is getting closed don't worry i can simply reload and show it to you i need to check what's going on wrong here all right so how you can add the google collaboratory if you don't get google collaboratory in your right uh, menu section you can simply click more i mean you can simply right click here or you can simply click new go to more connect more app something is wrong yeah something is wrong it's not your problem uh, the problem is appearing from my browser i believe let me try it again i can simply click connect more apps and from here I can simply search for collaboratory and you see that it's installed in my account but if it doesn't for your account you can simply click here and it would get installed for your account all right now let me simply open a new google collaboratory so this is my google collaboratory notebook you can give it any name but i'm not worrying about that right now because I need to show you how you can do it also. So before doing anything, we have to install the Kaggle library. So I can simply use this pip install Kaggle, simply run it. All right, we have installed the Kaggle library directly in our notebook. All right, and now we need to mount our Google Drive to column so that we can fetch that specific token that we have generated earlier and register our Kaggle account with this notebook. All right. So for now, I am simply copying and pasting the commands. Uh, but don't worry, all of the commands and from where I'm copying and pasting here would be available in the video description box. Make sure to check that out. So I can simply open a new code block and I can simply from google.colab import drive, drive.mount, content drive and run it. 
and it would ask for your permission to access your google drive files make sure to connect your google drive and make sure to connect exactly that drive from where you are accessing your this notebook all right uh, for now i mean for me this is the account from where i'm accessing this google notebook collapse notebook so i can simply select it and continue if you have multiple accounts signed into your browser this might show you all of the accounts but you have to make sure that you have to select exactly that account from which account you are working on this google collaboratory notebook all right and continue it would mount that and all of the data from your google drive can be accessible from here you can simply click on refresh and you see the drive and my drive has been appeared here you see this is our kaggle api folder and here we have the kaggle.json all right so we have connected our google collaboratory to our uh, i mean google drive to our google collaboratory notebook all right and now we had to uh, i mean we have to add the kaggle api token so that we can work with our token right so before doing anything we can simply create a kaggle directory in this temporary storage of this notebook so that we can access that faster so for creating a new folder i can simply use the make directory command so make directory kaggle so it would create a directory named kaggle in the root directory all right it has done that now i need to copy this specific kaggle.json from here to that specific directory so what i can do i can simply use another code block and i can simply use see the cp copy command the command would be like this cp for copy and you have to specify the path of that json file and the destination file so kaggle json path this would be from here so i can simply right click here i mean click here and copy path and i can simply paste the path here run i can simply close it so it has been done all right now we need to change the file permission so that notebook can read write and give the access to owner only that means me for this safety purpose so i can simply open another uh, code block and i can simply use this command done and let's start our interesting part let's say you want to download a kaggle data set so how we can do that all right so let's say i want to download this data set okay this data set now look careful about the url you see kaggle.com slash datasets slash Muhammad Fahim bin Amin is the name of the owner of this data set and this is the data set path so we need the owner's id or owner's name of the data set and the data set path so we have to make sure to copy this thing this part is the owner name or owner's id or owner's path of the data set and the rest of the thing is the data set path or you can say data set name given by kaggle so we have to copy this all right and let's say i want to download this data set in my google collapse notebook from kaggle directly so what i can do i can simply open a code block and i can write kaggle data sets download because i want to download a data set and i need to provide that specific thing which I just showed you earlier. What I need to do, I need to provide the owner name or owner's ID of the dataset slash the dataset path. I can simply copy it and paste it here. If I simply run it, you see it started downloading the thing. And you see that it's getting amazing speed. Why is that? Make uh, you have to keep in mind that this internet speed doesn't depend on your computer's speed or your connection speed as we are using google collabs and google collab is a thing from google cloud platform so the speed we are getting is from the google cloud speed so that speed naturally is going to be faster right so that's what is happening right here you see that it has downloaded the entire three gigabyte data set within a few seconds so 
that's how good it is now you see that after downloading the data set it becomes a zip file because it naturally download uh, the data set as a zip file but let's say you want to work with the individual file or you want to access the data set directly so what you need to do you need to simply unzip it how you can do that you can simply use unzip i space and the data set file name or you can say file path but add a dot zip after that because you see that it has become a zip file during downloading so if i simply run it you see it has started to unzip everything and after that you will get all of the data sets i mean all of the content from that data set the extraction process has been finished and you see that i have everything unzipped right here so that's how you can download any data set from kaggle directly to your google collabs notebook now the question comes how you can download competition data set now this is a pretty trivial thing why is that let me show you so you see there are a lot of competition let's say i can simply open this competition if i want to access the data set of this competition i must need to join the competition because these are exclusives to the participants so unless i join their competition i can't access the data all right so if you want to access their data set you have to join the competition but what if you want data set from previous competitions that is already over but you want to access their data set anyway so obviously there's a way to do that let me show you that as well so let's say this is a old competition so the competition is already finished but they have also give us access to access that data all right so to access that data set we have to simply click on let submission sorry uh, let submission whenever you click that uh, they would give you a prompt you have to agree to those terms and conditions and after then only after then you can access that data set so you see these are the data sets of this competition so the question comes how i can download this data set this competition data set to my collaboratory that is very simple let me show you you have to simply open a code block and write kaggle competitions download and we have to simply pass the data set path now look closely this url kaggle.com competitions then playground series s4e1 so then slash data slash data because we are in the data segment so we can pretty much understand that the data set is only this part playground dash series dash s4e1 so i can simply copy it and paste it here and if i simply run it you see it has downloaded the data set that's it how cool is that now if i want to check the data i can simply go here i can refresh it you see the playground series dot zip because as i have already told you whenever you download a data set it downloads that as a zip file if you want to unzip it you can simply use this unzip command as simple as that all right now let's say you don't want to download the entire data set to your google collab you only want to download a specific file from the data set so how you can do that it's pretty simple actually let me show you that as well and conclude our video so i can simply open a, a new code block and i can write kaggle competitions download and the data set path like earlier but this time i have to use a flag dash f that means i only want to download a specific file and let's say i want to download this test.csv file only this file so i can simply copy the file name with the extension make sure that the extension should match and this if i simply run it you see that it's downloaded only the exact file which i wanted obviously as zip but if you want to unzip it you can simply use the unzip command like earlier uh, the unzip command is this unzip then the data set path dot zip because the ex file extension was zip right so unzip the data set 
uh, is this but I have downloaded only this test.csv so it has downloaded test.csv as zip so I can simply pass here and run it and it has unzipped that. Let me check the file here. Refresh it. You see this is the zip file and this is the CSV file. File is too large to display. I need to download and display it. Uh, it doesn't matter because that's not the purpose of this video. I hope I have concluded everything you need to know to download any data set from Kaggle directly to your Google Colors notebook. All right. So that's it today. I don't wish to make this video any more longer than it actually needs. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to this channel to get this type of content because I frequently publish this type of contents. And make sure to follow me in GitHub, GitLab, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, my website. And if you have any question, you can connect me with Twitter and LinkedIn. I would make sure to respond to all of you. I promise you that. All right. So that's it for today. I will see you again.